Coincidence. That is the word of the day today. The dictionary defines it as a remarkable concurrence of events or circumstances without apparent casual connection. An example of a coincidence is when you run into your friend at the market when you didn't expect to. Now, there was a rather big coincidence that took place this week in the country. That of the arrest of Senators Cleopa Malala of Kakamega County, Stephen Lelegwe of Samburu and Christopher Langat of Bomet County. It was termed as a coincidence because their arrests took place on the eve of an important vote at the Senate to decide how the revenue allocated to the counties will be shared out. As usual here on my take, I have questions. Is it a coincidence that the three senators whose votes are very crucial for that revenue sharing formula that has failed at the Senate a record nine times were all arrested on the same day? Is it a coincidence that none of them was charged with any offense despite police officers camping at their homes from as early as 3 a.m.? A coincidence that they were all released without having paid a cash bail? Folks, is it also a coincidence that none of them has formal charges presented against them in a court of law after those dramatic arrests that took place four days ago? And isn't it an interesting coincidence that both the majority chief whip in the Senate and those in charge of the country's security who arrested the lawmakers both termed the arrests as, you guessed it, coincidence? Is it yet another coincidence that the CS in charge of interior did not appear before the Senate the very first time because he was supposedly on leave? And was it a coincidence that when the CS and the police boss who would typically order such arrests were grilled behind closed doors, away from the media and the public at large? Folks, what is no coincidence is that this has been done before. When people opposed to a government stance are arrested in such dramatic fashion, from politicians all the way to the general citizenry. Examples abound throughout the history of this country. Here's another coincidence. Did you notice that the dramatic arrests of the three senators happened just a day after a blistering media expose on the daring graft involving monies to combat the COVID-19 pandemic? It seems like our attention as a nation was now drawn away from interrogating what could be another heist of public funds and directed to a dramatic scene that ended in an anticlimax with no charges against individuals the police had spent so much energy and resources and time trying to apprehend. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now clear that 10 years after we changed the Constitution, we are right where we started. The more things change, the more they have remained the same. And that, my friends, is not a coincidence.